Well, we're a multi-generational farm. I'm the fifth generation. My great-great-grandfather came here from Ireland in 1868. Cranberries are indigenous to New Jersey. They're an obligate hydrophyte, which means if you find a cranberry plant growing, you're in a wetland by definition. And he just expanded out the area where cranberries were able to grow and produce a crop. And we build dams, hold the water higher than natural, and then harvest them in the fall. Right now we are at Lee Brothers Farm and we're standing in a cranberry bog. It's my first time in a bog. It's a really interesting experience and it's important for not only myself but a lot of the other assembly members and members of the Ag Committee to be out here. We have a lot of bills that go through our committee and obviously they're all dealing with agriculture but quite a few come through dealing with this type of farming. So it's important for us to get out here and really educate ourselves and know what we're voting on. Our job is to try to create law that will benefit the state. But if we don't have the knowledge or the information that our farmers can provide us, we can't create good law. So it's important that we have a good relationship so that when we create law in the state of New Jersey, it's well thought out, it's reasonable, and it benefits our economy because if we're working together with our farmers, then we're benefiting the economy of New Jersey. Right now, the DP has some type of regulation where after five years, if, if a bog isn't being used, that basically they might have to shrink their croppage. Right now, we're trying to increase that and legislation has to be put in place to let the cranberry farmers do their business and that is growing the business. So the legislation that we have in right now would give them more land to be able to turn into cranberry bogs. So this legislation is important for New Jersey because the more that the farmers have to be able to farm, it gives them more opportunity to be able to grow and expand and be able to be more profitable. With that, they're also going to be hiring more people and we're going to be putting people back to work. And it's going to be great for the economy as well.